Oh. The only podcast that don't need no motherfucking guests. Hey, hold up, hold up, hold up. You, you ready? Oh, oh shit. Oh, 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 <laughs> oh my god. Walking in the rain. <laughs> it ain't raining. Oh, that's a minute. Ha. Don't ever disrespect me. Ever, 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 ever disrespect. Ever, ever, ever disrespect. Ever, ever, ever disrespect me. Pussy. <laughs> Can't have it over a minute. They'll flag the video. 59 seconds. But I must say that it gets crazy at the end of that song. Yo, welcome <laughs> to episode 17 From of Outside with the Willa Nems. Right? So look, the weather is about 85, 90, right? The rain fucked it up. We was gonna do it in front of the new Rise of the Silverback mural. Started raining. Our cameraman Ray, an audio guy, FIFA, wasn't available for the, oh, he started breakdancing again. <laughs> as soon as you say his name, he's like. <laughs> it wasn't available, so he said, yo, we gotta do it today. Take it to Seabreeze Park. This is an old school park in Coney Island, they used to have mass Spanish concerts here. We saw Celia Cruz here. I saw Celia, with Celia. my mom. Celia Cruz. Asuka. Asuka. Yeah. Real story, right? Before I, matter of fact, I'm gonna get to the story in a minute. Yeah. To the right of me, he ain't a guest. He's one of the co-hosts. His name is Live Motherfucking Action. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 live, live action, action, baby. baby. <laughs> In his own new balances, you heard? Yeah, oh, facts. Oh, yeah, yeah, clap it up oh, again. Yeah, raise your legs up so they see. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just gave birth. Yo, legs up and it's both his hands went down like this. Yeah, this shit started. Yeah, you got this bullshit rocking chair shit here. So the right, see what happens when you're on the outside with Gorilla Nems podcast? You get sneaker deals, you heard? So you could do it like that. You come up with the fresh pair of MBs on. You come up in here. This is what I use when I'm out in the street. But this is what I use when I'm fucking with the birds and cleaning the bird coop and all of that. Shout out to New Balance. Right. Shout Bodega. out to um, Bodega. You know what I'm saying? They did it. Check out the video. It's on my page. It's on his page. And to the right of him. Them shits is fire. Them shits super fire. We all got right. a pair. Shout out to Bodega. Well, right. I don't know about all, but they, Bodega sent me a pair. Yeah, Bodega, right you, ain't, you ain't sent me a pair. Yeah, y'all ain't sent us a pair. Busy, you neither? I did not get a pair. Damn. 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 Bodega, yeah, look out, man. Look out for and my hands, yeah, yeah, yo. I don't say Bodega, I say Bodega, because the way it's supposed to be said. Yeah, yeah, it's like oh, a right, store. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. To the right of live action is my man, Triple Bypass. Yeah, 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 yeah. Baila, FIFA, baila, baila. Oh, And to the right of him is the guy, the most interesting man in the world, Dick the Dong. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yo. Dick the Dong is crazy, homie. Shoot, yo, shout out to our cameraman, Ray. Uh, we were talking before, FIFA Act 6. He said, yo, that's your real name? He said, yeah, bro, my mother named me six, the number. <laughs> and he was like, oh, yeah, really? And I said, yo, where, the, where, where is the name, how did Richard become the name Dick? <laughs> right? I don't know where that came from, but then a uh, esteemed genius cameraman, Ray, said, yeah, kind of like they call people named Billy, their real name is George. Yeah, that's way more. <laughs> It's what? what? It's William. That's why he had his videos, man. Billy Bush? And uh, what's the other dude? What? What? <laughs> what? But it was Bill was William, right? That's what it was? Yes. yes. All right. <laughs> Damn, bro, that shit made that no That shit got sense. worse. That shit got worse. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, true story about this park right here, right? The skinny Nems days. Right? Took One day, in. I was running around. This is when I was getting high. What'd you say? Took he asked if he took a shit in nah, this park. Even better. <laughs> One day, I was getting high. Didn't have no way to go. I had a chick with me. You know what I'm saying? This, this is how you know it's old. Because Coney Island is 21 blocks, three avenues. Right? So we started from the end of Coney Island, Seagate, the West 37th Street on Mermaid Avenue. And every phone booth on every block, I fucked this girl in. 
right? I didn't nut every time. I would go to one, be like five strokes, bang, 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 bang. I ain't have nowhere to go. We was both dumb high, and <laughs> <laughs> it was both homeless. You yeah. had to re-erect every time. Yeah, yo, I had to dope it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, one every phone booth on Mermaid Avenue, I hit this chicken, right? It was just, winter. Just, I don't know when it was. I don't know. It might have been winter. It might have been summer. I don't remember, but I do remember. Just so I could say, I fucked in every phone booth in Coney Island. So we stopped. <laughs> That's boom. a crazy flex. She would bend over one boom. She would. There was some that had, you know, that she more out. She would put her back. In, bro, this had to be three, four in the morning. Nobody was out. <laughs> Smashed there, but I, I didn't nut in all of them. The last stop was right here. On the stage. On the stage, center stage, <laughs> probably right where that camera is. The main camera that's getting all of us, and that's where I did my grand finale. <laughs> so you've been, you've been, you've been performing. That was on you. Big you stages. did that. That's how I got. <laughs> <laughs> you've been performing on big stages. I've been stages. performing on big stages. Right. Right? What's her name? Let's give her a shout out. Nah, nah absolutely nah. not. Nah, it was embarrassing because uh, she's on Pornhub now. <laughs> <laughs> you know who you are. <laughs> oh, oh my God. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> Yo, so you. Live action, his name is also you, Hubert. What's been going on since last time we seen you? Now I had to move the birds. The coop? You had to yeah. move the coop? Yeah, we had, I had to um, get rid of all the birds and somebody bought the building and they was like, yo, we don't want that up there. Right after the commercial, like the next week after the commercial was done, the dude sold the building and the new people came and was like, yo, we don't want this up here, y'all gotta take it down. I was wow. like, really? Oh. You gotta give me like two weeks. I sold all the so birds. So how many birds you thought you think you had up there? What up that I had at that up there? time? Yeah, I thought I had like three fifty. So how does that go? What do you do? I was, it was four fifty. Wound up being four hundred and fifty. So oh, how, what do you do? You how sold do you, each bird individually? Nah, like I call different type of pigeon dude, different type of pigeon flies. Yeah. And let them know that I'm selling out. And if they hand pick whatever they hand pick, it's ten dollars a piece. If they buy all of them. They could take all of them for six dollars. How long were you in that spot? In that spot yeah. for like eleven years, twelve years. Mm. And how do you bag up the birds to huh? like move them? Cause they got like carriers for pigeons, so you just grab them, put them in the carrier. How many for four hundred and fifty birds? That would be a big fucking carrier or a lot of work. You have a lot of carriers. Some dudes have four or five of them. Each carrier could carry like 50, 60 birds. Let me I ask you, damn, that's a mission. Cause do the move. birds when you sell them? Do they fly back to that property? Some of them will come back depending on how long they keep them in. That's like, fire. Because you could sell them so you had and to then get them back. Yeah, but he ain't even too. at that location no more. You had to take it apart, right? Take all that shit down. They asked us, they was like, yo, if you want to take this shit down. And I was like, nah, fuck it. If you ain't paying me, I ain't taking shit down. <laughs> so I just left. I just sold the birds and left and shit. Left but that I, shit up there? Left it, whoever, whatever. I just left Yeah, you it. fucking like evicting I, us, man. Fuck yeah, you. I, they, yeah, he was like, oh, yeah. I was like, That's all right. That's a lot of wood. Hey, yo. They hey, fucked up. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of wood. It's crazy. Yo. It's true, though. All right, so what happens from there? So now you move. Did you find another spot immediately? Nah, I called one of my boys up. I said, yo, we got to get rid of the birds just in case if he wanted to buy some. So he was like, yo, you, you know, I'm, my roof is always open to you. You can always come. So I had to think about it, though, for a minute. And I said, yo, you know what? Look, he started to cry. He, word, he got emotional. Nah, nah, something went in my eye. For the birds? I don't get emotional like that. You got you know crying I mean? for the birds, my man? Man, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> and um, my man came. He bought some. He bought about 60 to take to his roof. And I just said, you know what, fuck it. I'm going to sell all of them and I'm going to just start new. So I went to my man's roof. I checked it out, bought the wood Same and everything. Same neighborhood? Huh? Same. Nah, in East New York. So you was before in like Brownsville? Yeah, like Brownsville, Ocean Hill area. Okay, now you in East New York. In East New York. Is it a pain in the ass to get on a new roof like it was on your old one? Remember we had the climb? I hated that shit. Nah, nah, it ain't. And then you was like, yo, you got to turn. I had to do some like. Nah, at least it's only one finished. flight of stairs now. <laughs> I might visit that spot now. There's only one flight of stairs. Yo, did like you sell the Timberland you pigeon 
All of them. They all went. Damn, Damn. the Timberland Pigeon. You should have gifted got, that I shit got to got Timberland names. Pigeons, though, still. Well, look at that one. He's the pure color of a Timberland. That's a Timberland Pigeon. You know Straight up saying? and down, yo. We here. Don't be scared. Don't be a square. Don't be scared of pigeons, man. They the everywhere. So now you have to rebuy. So, so you just took. So when you sold all the birds, you kept the money. And then when you got the new spot, you just rebought new birds? Yeah. Every week I go and whatever. So how do you go? How do you go about auction. retraining them? Huh? Or not, or training them, period, to a new roof? I, like, it depends. If they young pigeons, I let them out the same day. As soon as I come back from the auction, I let them shits right out. And they know to come back right to you? Huh? They know to come back right they to young, you? They young, you know what I mean? And when they're young, they're going to follow any pigeon. They, so even they'll even follow a street pigeon when they're young because they just, you know, that's how it is. Pigeons follow pigeons and shit. Birds Especially when so did you lose pigeons <laughs> huh? when you first? Yeah, I lose. Like they, they just go off. Yeah, the, some of them don't even shit on the coop. They just, as soon as they come out, they just, pew. they don't even, they like, they don't even touch the coop. Like, I let out 24 last week and my man had bought some. And it was inside the coop, but when it seen the door and the door was open, that shit just flew straight out and then I chased for it and everything and that shit just, it just kept going straight. You built that, that shit by yourself? Nah, like a couple of, like two or three of my homeboys helped me. Yeah, because it was a lot of wood. Yeah, that shit is, that shit is humongous. He like wood. Hey, he should have hey, came yeah. to help me. He should have came to help hey, me. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. I got a question, because you said that people can handpick pigeons. So, like, what are they looking for when they're picking? Like, what makes a good pigeon to make it more desirable? It depends what you like. You know what I mean? Because, uh, uh, uh. What I eat don't make you shit, and what you drink don't make me pee. So people go for like color. Some people just want all one color. Some people want uh, birds with caps. Like what? Like you wear a hat, they feathers come out from their head, and we call that a cap. You know what I mean? Some birds like uh, when they they all one color, but their face is Some white. Some of them got fat asses. And huh? <laughs> I don't know. You'll have to figure that shit out for yourself. Bob. Yo, man, yeah, a man. bitch having a fat ass is crazy. <laughs> two right there, man. I don't know. That's if you like that type of shit. You know, so what why I mean? there's some the people out there that like animals and shit. Yo, tell us about the sneakers. How how that came about? Um, I guess they seen the the when we did the the, the podcast. The, the, nah, the TikTok with the Nico. Oh, with New York Nico. Yeah, when we yeah, up there. Did, Nico, yeah, shout out New York Nico. When yeah, we Nico. did the TikTok with New York Nico, somebody seen it. And they was like, yeah, you know, uh, uh, they hit me up on IG and was like, yo, uh, we would like to do something with you. And I thought they was like playing around because, you know, they always send that stupid yeah, shit on yeah, IG. Yeah, I'd be like, fuck out of with that bullshit. <laughs> yeah, facts. But then when Duke was like, oh, yeah. So then I, he was like, oh, is this. I was like, oh, all right. So you can meet me on this day. And then from there, they, you know, they was like, yo, this is how it's going to be. You got paid? Huh? Got yeah, paid. yeah. That's what's up. All right. Clap it up. 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 I got paid and shit like that, you know. Uh, it was mad cool. It was good. It was interesting. It was mad, you know. It was a new experience. I'll buy something if I like it. Keep it simple. Oh, I'm copping those. I want those. Big time. That's big a dope. Time. It's a dope commercial. That shit was too. dope. Yeah, that shit right. was fire. I didn't even think it was gonna come out. That shit uh, made me emotional. It was gonna come out dope hold like that. <laughs> nah, it made you emotional. Nah, nah, nah it makes you yeah, emotional. Yeah, yeah, this dude is real emotional. I'm emotional. And I can't lie. Oh, nah. Man, he too feminine. Paul Thomas over here. <laughs> right, yeah, right, yo, right. we're gonna have to bring the masculinity out this motherfucker. Hey, yo, stab him with a knife. Hey, look at him. He, he, he stabbed me. <laughs> <laughs> he tickled, he tickled, he tickled. Hey, I, was like, he is crazy. I was like, this, he tickled me. <laughs> Yo, so do you think that's selling out? What's that? You sold out your pigeons for a pair of sneakers. Damn. I, didn't it, I didn't know it was going to happen. The Fast. sneakers, I really wasn't, you know, I don't, like, I, you know, the sneakers and shit, I was like, I really basically was like, I thought it was all a scam. Facts. You know what I mean? Like I was a like, joke, like a joke yeah, you know, like how they do when you post something on IG, yeah, they be right. like, um, yeah, we got a $5,000 proposal. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here with oh, that Or y'all going to use your picture for a painting. Yeah, yeah. Somebody hit me with that. Yeah. I said, yo, on a homie, crazy dude, website. What the fuck you want? Nah, Keep nah, it. the art. Yo, you want artwork? Send us your picture. They just put it in like an iPad thing. Yeah, they, they you print it. Yeah. A cartoon. They yeah, send it back to you. Yeah. 250. I was like, yo, you can keep that shit for free. You take a picture. I don't fuck out of here. Nah, with that be, shit. yo, what also is dope is that 
Because I thought when Bodega, he told me about it, I thought it was like they was just going to use him for a commercial to drop some sneaker. But then Hype Beast posted it and was like, yo, the inspiration of the sneaker is a pigeon. So the colors of the sneakers is like a pigeon. And it's yes. like, yo, it was inspired by live action. That's, that's fire. Right. I ain't that's know right. none of that, yo. Yo, that's you know fire. So that shit was like the air live actions. Yeah, yeah, yeah I didn't know. I ain't know until you told me. Yeah. Because basically yeah. I thought it was like, they was like, yo, we just need you to be an act. I was like, all right, fuck it. I ain't even know that. Uh, uh, I was going to do the background talking, like, I, you know what I mean? I just thought I was just like... You did a great job. It, that was a great question. Yeah, that shit now, was I asked fire. about the selling out because recently um, uh, a popular sports betting thing hit me about doing a commercial, and I don't like to sell my Instagram. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'll put it on the story, no problem. You know what I'm saying? But I don't like to make my Instagram, like commercialized, like for sale. Yeah, Cause right. then it it, it, it it dies down your brand. It makes but these you look people offered me a nice amount of money. So you sold out? I sold out. <laughs> you know what I'm but, but look, but look, I'll happily sell out. I created, a, I had a cult fan base originally. Then it blew up due to the bing bong everything. And you know, I have a, a nice following now. But it's organic. So it's, like, yo, it's an organic follow. It's following. organic. No right. fake followers, no bullshit. They fuck with me because of me. Now, a corporation comes along and like, yo, we want to take this organic fan base that you built to push our brand. So I'm like, I don't want to do that. So then you saying you just basically branding they stuff off, you promoting so, they stuff exactly, on your I'm page. glad you say that, the branding, because what happened was I put up this video, right, saying, yo, do this, do that. And right, I didn't put it up yet. Right when I was about to post it, I noticed that my G logo on my hat is blurred out. Nah. On the video they sent you? Yeah, because they said, you know, I sent them a video, they had to approve it, and then they sent it back, like with their hashtags on it or the disclaimer at the end. And right before I was about to hit post, I said, hold up. The G on my hat is blurred out. I said, nah. I sent it back to Max and Busy, the chat we in. I said, yo, listen. They're not blurring out my logo on my own page. Now, if you want to post it on your page, do what you want to do. But you're not going to tell me to blur out my own logo exactly. on my own page. That's so crazy. I sent it back. I said, yo, Max, tell them the deal is off. Unless, is unless they show the G. Yes. So I, it's, a, it's a no, there's no negotiation there. Non-negotiable. Yeah. yeah, because that's what you promote your G exactly. on. Exactly. Now you and 20 years to build that brand. Facts. By myself. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So Busy was in the chat like, yo, I agree with that. You know what I'm saying? Mex would be like, ah, nah, you know, Good Mex wants to back. But Busy something. was like, yo, I, are you willing to dead the as whole shit? As long as you willing to dead the deal, I said, yeah. yo, I'll dead the whole shit, bro. I don't care. You're not going to tell me I can't show my logo on my own page. That's true, though. Non-negotiable. So they came back and was like, yo, there's nothing we can, I said, all right, so there's nothing we can do. Say less. And then they came back and was like, all right, post it. You know what I'm saying? We said the G logo is a part of his likeness. Yeah. And we will not blur it out. And then they, <coughs> they did the right thing. Yeah, no, nah, they, they did the right thing. I guess but it was like see, the, you the hat with finger, just for that, the middle finger You should have told them just for stagnating my shit, throw on another 10. Yeah, throw another zero on They would have did it. Hurt? They would have did it. <laughs> yeah, just for But hurt, it all worked me. out. I stood my ground. Still sold out, you know. Yeah, but it's, so you know, this post, uh, I just posted it today. That's why I'm talking about it. So if you guys see an but ad on saying, my page, just know. That he sold out. I sold but I'm out. saying you feel because. <laughs> happily. Happily. happily too, so yeah. you feel because I, I, because I did this commercial and I had to get rid of my birds. I can't say no, that. No, but you didn't get rid of your birds for the commercial. It was no, afterwards. Yeah, it happened yeah. after the fact. I was so just I using that as a, uh, what do they call A segue. You know yeah, yeah, saying? so you can't use that because it's two different concepts, man. Yeah, nah, you wasn't yeah, selling out whatsoever. Yeah. You know what huh? I'm saying? You wasn't nah. selling out yeah, whatsoever. Yeah, but that. see, even what you doing, you not really selling out. Now, if you would have sold out, if you would have let them blurge your, 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 your logo, yeah, that, that now that you sellout. being a sellout. Facts. That no us, we Spanish, we call that, you would have been a lambon. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's a lambon, right? Sellout. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. 
Yo, the last segway, segway <laughs> from the segway. Lambon to where? There's no segways. The last, the last um couple nights, I've been man hot, so I've been coming in early. I'm not really a movie guy. You know what I'm saying? I'm not really a big movie guy like by myself. I don't watch movies by myself. You know, people can quote movies. I'm not one of those guys. But lately, there's nothing been on TV, so I've been putting it on like Showtime, and, and I've been watching movies, and I compiled the list of my favorite movies, bro. Let's hear it. Let me see. And these are, these are what I consider, now these are not all my favorites, but lately I've been watching a couple movies that if you haven't watched these, watch them. It's pretty dope movies. The first one on my list is like, you might, may or may not know, The Last Boy Scout. I don't so, know. That sounds kind of familiar. I with, think I've seen with that. Damon with Damon Wayans. Wayans. Oh, hell yeah, that's my shit. And, Bruce Willis. And Bruce Willis. Facts. But that's what true. really made it, what, I, what made me think about this movie today, driving over here, was the opening scene where it's pouring rain, because I might oh, go to the, the fo- giant. The football the, player. So it's, it's, it's yeah. pouring rain, and the football player owes mad money to the mob. Gambling, facts. Yeah, gambling, and he ain't. So this is just the opening scene. So he's like, fuck it. He, get, he, he catches the ball when it's punted to him, runs through the shit, pulls out a gun. All the, all the dudes trying to tackle him, he just shoots him in the head. Bang, bang, bang. <laughs> and then he gets to the touchdown. And he kills himself. And then he, fast. bang, kills oh, himself. Oh, Holly Berry's in that movie too. Yo. And she fire, got that's one that's of the most Damn, I got to see that. Opening that's crazy. scenes Holly, of a movie. Holly Berry got sprayed right up there. in that shit too. That's one of the most fire opening scenes. Yeah, I got to see that. The Last Boy Scout. That's probably came underrated. out in the early 90s. That's underrated right You know there. what I'm saying? Yeah, that yes. shit sounds nuts. The second one, Seven. Yeah. Brad Pitt. What's in the box? Yo. What's in the fucking box? That's seven. one of my, that's that mental <laughs> shit. Like, yeah, with the Seven Deadly Sins. Yeah. It's with Brad Pitt, yeah. Morgan, Morgan Freeman, Freeman and Kevin Spacey. That was crazy. Fire movie. Good yeah. movie, yeah. That's a great movie. Legends of the Fall. Another That's Brad, Brad Pitt, Pitt movie. Man, you love Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt, Anthony Hopkins. <laughs> They're going to say Troy. Find out, son. I'm going to say Troy. I like the way his hair moves. I like the way his hair moves. He loves he he likes Brad Pitt. Pitt. Nah, I'm, yeah, right. Right. I'm the You're Brad attracted. Pitt of Coney Island. He said, y'all like the way his hair moves when he's swinging his sword. That's why you'll never be known, kid. I'm the Brad Pitt of Coney Island, bro. Watch, he say Fabio used to be my favorite actor, too. Yo, I'm the Tom Cruise of LES. Wow, look at this. You know what I'm saying? We drive by LES, he knows the window. There's certain parts and pockets of New York City that when I go to, like, everybody knows me. And where's the main one? LES. Tom. I'm Tom Cruise in L.E.S., bro. I can't <laughs> blow up the block without being stopped. He might be, though, because L.E.S. ain't that really big. It's only no, but Tom Cruise You know why? L.E.S. L.E.S. is full of creators. There. His cousin Melo, Shout out Melo lives there. Artists, uh, just people that's in the know. You know what I'm saying? Is in L.E.S. Why Tom Cruise, though? Like, what? I don't know. I was talking to Pops, and then we just fucked. We just he was made in L.E.S., shit, and everybody man. kept stopping me every two feet. I thought you slid across a hood or and something. I was like, like, yo, L.E.S. out here, bro? I'm like, Tom Cruise. He's yeah, like, we just said Mission, now Mission, Mission Impossible, we were saying. Facts. Some shit like that. Facts. 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 And Which is Coney not, Island. Mission Impossible, definitely not on my list. Definitely not. That's a good movie, though. Another one, The Professional. That's good. Fire. With Leon, yeah. With Leon, The Professional. And the early, what's her name? The girl from Black Swan, Natalie Portman. Natalie yeah. Portman. That's she was like young. she's fire. That's one of her first roles. And the and the detective. He's he's a good actor. Oh yeah, too. Gary Sinise. No, that's his name, bro. Yeah, but yo, it's he was in the Fifth Element too. That yeah, movie. the more I watch that movie, it's it's kind of weird, bro, because Natalie Portman is a little girl, but she kind of like sexualizes herself to like Leon the professional. It's like it's under. It's not like. Has undertones of weirdness. It's like undertone of like she, well she. That's Hollywood. Clearly Hollywood. Has she, a was trust on make, him. she was putting makeup and shit <laughs> nah, on. Nah, but she wants to be with him. And she's a little girl. Her whole family gets killed. It's weird. There's bad a, movies from the '90s that don't age well when you watch them now. You're like, yeah, this is yeah, weird. Like, like, yo, this shit is weird. Yeah, yeah you be like, yeah, this is that little cra- that little creepy shit. Hollywood. Yeah, Hollywood. Yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah Hollywood is weird. It's actually New Gary York? Oldman is the bad guy. Gangs of New York Fire. That's who is. Yeah, I told you his name Yo, was a Sinisi. That's Gary Sinise is um, Uncle Dan. Um, Lieutenant no, Dan. Lieutenant Dan Lieutenant from Dan, Forrest, yeah, Forrest, Forrest Gump. Gump is Forrest another Gump one. Forrest Gump is a good movie, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. Forrest Gump. <laughs> Huh? Of what? Gump. He's the rap Forrest game Forrest Gump, Gump of what? The rap game Forrest Gump. Oh, rap game Forrest yeah. Gump. Nah, he can run like Forrest Gump. <laughs> <laughs> I was trash because I'm fat. I can't even run fast. Yeah. Yeah. Forrest, Forrest Gump ain't doing nothing fat. The Tom Cruise. No, the Tom Cruise and Elias. The Brad Pitt of Coney Island. And the Forrest Gump of the rap game. Facts. That's a lot, homie. 
That's no, a good you know, resume. As far as Gump got mad, everything That's happened. That's a good so, resume. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, My resume yeah. is crazy. Who I got would you? comedy. I got Yeah, Forrest Gump. Yeah, yeah. Gump. yeah. I was going to say, who would you be in Forrest Gump? Who would all y'all be in Forrest Gump? Who would I be if in Forrest Gump? If I'm Forrest Gump, who would you be in Forrest Gump? You would? The what? nigga that sold him the boat. <laughs> Bubba? You would be Bubba? The reach, he the, ain't uh, sold <laughs> Who you gonna be, the girl? I'm Forrest Gump. I know. (laughs) So who are you? I'm telling you, what you want me to be, the girl he was chasing? So you bubble. All right, who are you? I'm Lieutenant Dan. Yeah, you got the heart shit, you fucked up. I have no idea. (laughs) (laughs) Magic heart. (laughs) So who are you? I have no idea. I have no idea who I'll be. Can we name you? Yeah, go ahead. Who is he? Who else there is wasn't really? a lot of people up in there. In fact, there's like four people in Forrest Gump. <laughs> there's mad people. You, you was the doctor. <laughs> no, that, that's one of the most classic scenes when he comes out and far, the little Forrest Gump is like, huh, 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 huh. <laughs> oh, yeah, And homie said, boy, your mother really loves your education. <laughs> your mama sure does care about your schooling, son. <laughs> she cares. She really cares about your education. She really cares about your education. Facts. Gangs of New York. That's a good movie. Fire movie and this historical New York. I feel like some of that may be true. I doubt that it. That shit is just ill. No, that. Well, with Dear Cap. No, uh, with five, Leo Dio. What's his name? The Cap. What you said his name is? Leo, whatever the fuck. <laughs> is Leo man. Dio? <laughs> Leo Dio, Rio Gidario. <laughs> Another good Leonardo DiCaprio movie. Not on my list, but What's Eating Gilbert Grape? Nah, Where I like that. That's like, your sec- Brad Pitt is your number nah, one. Nah, I'm not saying that's on my list. I like Brad that Pitt shit. got two Leo. movies on my shit. Leo. But Leo. Leo's OD. Nah, he's pretty good. He's yeah. a decent actor. What else? Juice. Classic. That's classic New York. We only have to explain that. The Crow. The Crow's a good movie. Fire. With Brandon right. Lee. I like His that His last movie. performance where he died. He died shooting that movie? Yeah, facts. They plugged him right yeah, there. Yeah, facts. And that scene on the table. Yep, that's great. And the hey, last yo, one. they shot him. They ain't plugged him. The, the, Falling Down with Michael Douglas. That's another good movie. That movie is fire. Right. Where he just flips out. He leaves the car on the highway and shit. Yeah, and goes <laughs> yeah in, when he fact. goes into the um, fast food restaurant. Yeah, he's fast. He's like, yo, let me get breakfast. They're like, breakfast is at 10.30. We stop serving breakfast at 11.30. He looks, it's like 10.35 or something. Bro, he sh- I think he shoots the whole place up, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Fire movie. What's right. what's your, what's some movies y'all fuck with? Oh, I fuck with The Godfather. Y'all never seen one, that full two, movie. and three. Not three. One and two is. I never seen you don't The like Godfather three? full three through. Like, Tell me why you don't like three. Cause I don't like everybody Andy, says I don't like that. Andy Garcia, so I ain't like three. But the storyline, yeah, you needed three. Big time, though. Man, I was trying. That's where he Garcia. was going legal in oh. three. That's like one of the most important stories. I saw bits and pieces the of those movies. Got never saw them. You never seen The Godfather? Nah. Bro, that's literally. All right, well, that's one. I like Gladiator. I like Strength and Honor. Gladiator. Strength and Honor. Strength Strength and honor. honor. That's on my list. Yeah. Braveheart. Yeah, I like Braveheart. I Braveheart. King of New York. That's King of New York is fire. You're so hold on, Ray. You're asking me right Yeah, Billy George. William. Now you fuck Good me fellas. Up. Good fellas. Casino. Because you can't beat those. Those are yeah. those to go without Those shame. are classics. I like hate. Paid in full. Hate. Only the beginning though. What's like a like random less popular fella? movie that you would suggest? Who? Like not a big movie that people know, but like a sleeper. A sleeper? A random jump. Damn. City of God. City of God. City of God is fire. If you like reading fucking subtitles. Yeah, but facts. it's also a good movie. I just saw that recently again. Oh, I was mad sleeper. Shit was fire. Little motherfuckers. I be bad. forgetting the names. Wow. You name a sleeper. <clears throat> Requiem for a Dream. I brought that up today. We was talking to Jared Leto. He de- his team declined being on the pod. It's okay. I like Rain Man. Not right it's now. Okay. We'll get him. Not right now. It's okay. You know what I'm saying? But Requiem for a Dream, and that's a Coney Island movie. Top three Coney Island. That's top three Coney Island movies. Requiem for a Dream. Warriors. He got game in the Warriors. Facts. Those are top three Coney Island movies. Those are probably the only And three. He Got Game was filled in my, not only my projects or Dwyer's, but in my building. You know what I'm saying? That's where he lived, Jesus Shuttlesworth. Yeah. Building six or Dwyer Gardens. Spike Lee, Show Love? Uh, no. He, he built those courts in the back of Coney Island houses. With that's the glass. fire. And that's, that was in the 90s. No court out here had glass yeah, backboards. That's, that's fire. You know what I'm saying? And he redid all of that, you know what I'm saying? So those three films, you got a star in one, cameo in one, and get rid of one. Those three Coney Island you movies. You got a star in one, 
cameo in one and get rid of one, yep. I would get rid of Requiem for a Dream. I would star in the Warriors. Nah, I would star in He Got Game. Nah, Warriors, you should be Warriors. <laughs> his, high, yo, his, nah, highest his highest points. His highest He Got points. Game is crazy. You gonna play ball? Yo. <laughs> yo. He's the coach. Hey, yo. Bro, don't do that again, bro. <laughs> and I would cameo in the Warriors. The Warriors is only because there's so many characters in it that to star in it yeah. is not really starring in it because you don't have a, there's so many characters. Nah, that unless you're the lead star. You got nah, I like the, the Ajax. The night. I like Ajax. the guy, the bad guy, bro. Mario. Oh, oh sorry, bad clink, guy. clink, clink, clink. You wanna throw the shit at the girl? Yeah, he wrecked <laughs> For what? Yeah, he got an evil face. Yeah, fact. Yeah, he do. Fact. He was in um, the movie with um, Arnold Schwarzenegger, too. Total Back Recall? Commando. Commando. That's, That's a good movie, movie. too. Fact. That's a sleeper. Commando, yeah, Commando is a dope movie. What about you, you? What's one of your favorite movies? I like Scarface. That's a good movie. That's my, Classic. That's what I was saying, though. Yeah, that's yeah, my yeah. favorite, all, one of my all-time favorite movies. That's it? A lot of them <laughs> shits, man. I just be forgetting the names yeah, nah, of the shits. See, like, when people, I've been on podcasts or I like Rain things. Man. Yeah, when they ask me shit Rain like man, that, I, I don't know. It's just recently. I've been I'm watching to a think lot of movies. The, uh, the one he asked me to sleep was a I like the Rain movie, Man with, with, uh, with um, Tom Cruise and, and Dustin yeah, Hoffman. That's yeah, a good movie, yeah. Yeah. Dustin was, Hoffman got some fire. He was in Hook. I liked him in Hook. That was a good movie, Rob. I got kids, bro. So I like I the Colors. Colors. That was an fire. underrated movie, Colors. colors. Yeah, what about underrated. 300? I like 300. 300, 300 was, was crazy. Like, I like the Troy. The game. Yeah, when that shit Troy came out. Fire. With Brad Pitt, I like the Troy with Bad. I like movies like that. I like. <laughs> Yeah, 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 shit right there. Nah, I just like gladiator type movies. <laughs> yeah, and I shit do like too. That. That's, like, my, that's my right. shit. It'd be trash. Roman ones movies, too. you know what I mean? I like war movies like that. You with like the historic sword, not the guns. Yeah, I don't too. really. You know, you know the gun was, shit is like. You know, it was a dope movie that just came out. That shit, 1912. Bro, the whole movie is shot in one continuous scene. Really? You know how hard that is, bro? Pause. Hmm. Like that to shoot a good. movie. From front to end, one continuous scene. I gotta see that shit. The shit is crazy, but it's a fight. It's about 1912. They was in World War One. Like his his squad was running through France, and he had to deliver a message. Some shit. I don't know, but it's one continuous scene through the whole <laughs> movie. They didn't film it. One can. It's impossible. You can't film a two-hour. They do like match cuts to hide it. Yeah, you but just it have to like, match where you ended saw. and shit. But what? yo. That's insane. I just saw a movie with the um the Monuments Man, with uh, George Clooney them, where Hitler was trying to take all the art. Yeah, yeah. And they had to go get it that with John Goodman. That was a fight. That's a sleeper right there. What was it it's called? A, called? The Monuments Man. And it's a true story that Hitler was making a huge museum in Germany, and everywhere he went, or whatever he took over, he took all their art, people. Real and art, from though. personal people too. Yeah, personal collectors, and they had like a whole list. The movie's fire, and there was like a, a lady that worked. That her brother got murdered. It's, it's a dope flick. George Clooney, uh, Matt Damon. That's the sleep of monuments, man. That's a good movie. Yo, imagine living in that time, like while shit like that was going on in the world. Like, would you have enrolled in the army? You ain't yeah, had no, no that choice. Was like a badge of honor back then. That was like you ain't had no choice. Yeah, yeah. they was like forcing shit you. To do. Nah, that was like nah, nah you had to be a man. You had to be a man back then. It's a little different plumbing. now. And that modern plumbing. Yeah, bro. you had to shit houses outside. Yo, go shit outside. Yeah. What's the craziest outside. place y'all took a shit at? Oh, good. That's on my list. <laughs> what? <laughs> Pie shit in the urinal. Nah. I've How been the right. Fuck? Look, in the in the break of us doing podcasts, I'm with Pies almost every day. So there's times he tells me stories, and I'm like, we have to tell this on the pod. <laughs> and I fuck. How does that happen? Thing. He took a shit that. in the urinal in the club. That's how, that's how, I was like, yo, who takes a shit in the club? He's like, I took a shit in the club. I took a shit in the nah, it was in a the dude, club. it was a dude that worked in the bathroom. You know, like, giving the napkins What club? Shit. Rio's in Bay Ridge. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you it wasn't even a Rio. lit club. Yeah, in fact, it was, it was the end of the night, too, and he was just- Who you Rio's with? was I? It was me and my cousins, and I shit in the urine. Ah, tell the story. <laughs> <laughs> he like, didn't wipe his ass. Nah, and that nigga said, <laughs> <laughs> he was tight though. I went right in the, um, in the store. So tell shit. the story. Don't you tell so the. So the nigga was being an asshole all Who? night. The dude that worked in there, the Spanish dude. The we bathroom talk, attendant. The bathroom attendant. We thought he was fucked up. We was young though, and um, we was fucking with him. <laughs> How and you I, was fucking with him? 
<laughs> just fucking with them in Spanish. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It was, it was hilarious, though. And uh, he said some disrespectful shit or something. And I said, you know what? Clean this up. <laughs> oh, so you shit on <laughs> command? I like, said, yeah, I can do that right now. I can take the shit right now. <laughs> Bro, yeah. that's a fucking talent. That's a talent, yeah. bro. Facts. <laughs> you can be a shit boy. Yeah, I can shit whenever yeah. I want. You can shit on command? Facts. Yo, that's crazy. That's he like said, my, where are you? That's like my superpower. Where are you being disrespectful? He just be holding that shit all day. <laughs> Ready? Say, yo, that said, that's his superpower. That's my superpower. I can shit, shit on. Shit in the urinals. <laughs> Take a shit right now. Burn. Damn, you foul. Yo, pause. <laughs> Clean that shit up, and I flushed um, the urinal. <laughs> now, was it the big urinals? Like that? Wait, nah, so it wasn't so like the back in the day ones where I had to get low. It was, like, it was, it right was there. ass you high. You ass on the... No, nah, no. Nah, you know they be mad piss shot, on that I shit. shot it in. Blah. Oh, that's even worse. <laughs> oh, I always wonder. When you, you know when you go to a public bathroom and you see shit on the... Like, sometimes you see it on the wall I've seen before. But, like, on the back of the tub, I'm like, yo, how does somebody shit like that? Cause they were hovering. Oh, <laughs> they were standing up, probably. Nah, but still. Yo, so look. For the so water not to, not to, for the water not to take it down, gotta be a, yo, a crazy. Listen, bro, this podcast is going off the rails. Yo, listen, bro. hold on, hold on. <laughs> so you walked, yo, 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 Fuck you, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, so you went to the urinal. He there. waddled. The he waddled over there. I gotta wipe my ass. And then I put $10 in the thing. And all of that he <laughs> did with his pants down when he walked to the other shit to wipe his ass. Now I was like right there. You know, real, that shit was small. It was like, bang, bang. <laughs> bang, bang. <laughs> yeah, clean that up. Come on, get that shit. Here's a 10. Yo. That's fucked up. Yo. Yo, Yo and he's Yo. watching, perdón. <laughs> Yo, he grew up. He grew up. Yo, your teacher Yo. got smacked in front of you? You were shook? Oh, high school. First day of high school. Facts, Mr. Geffner. When you, you was a... Uh, a freshman. Uh, fresh out of junior high school. So I go to... <laughs> what high school? Lafayette. When that they filmed like, Sunset Park, also underrated movie. Yeah, that shit was like right there when fire. I went there. And I was mad little. Oh, another Coney Island movie? Bullet with Tupac. Oh, yeah. Right. Facts. I, saw, I actually didn't really see Those, him. It's not top him. three, though. So go ahead. Mickey Rourke was in that. That's a good movie. Yeah. He's the most handsome fucking guy in this whole fucking <laughs> place. But, um... <laughs> yeah, so the dude walks by the class. I'm in science. I remember. So this is, this is your my first, first day fucking of day, very high first, school. nigga. I remember. I felt so good. That shit was like right, cause I was like, oh shit, this is totally different. I had to man up. Like, oh, this shit gonna be like. <laughs> you had to be a man. Yeah. Be in school. I told my father as soon as I got home. But anyway, look. So the dude goes, yo, hooky party. Tomorrow, building seven. To be honest with you, I didn't even know what a hooky party was. But this dude was like a grown man, bro. <laughs> that ass. <laughs> Building, it was a, it's a project, of course, she Marlboro project. Shout out Marlboro, too. And uh, the teacher said, come on, man, I'm trying to teach. Get out of here. And this dude said, man, shut the fuck up. And walked up to him and said, bah! <laughs> Yo. <laughs> to a grown man. But he was grown, too, though. But he was like 27. This nigga was like, probably got left back like, like 16 age. times. Fact, smack fire out of him. Fact, I didn't want to go to school. I was like, yo, they smacking teachers. Pop. You wanted to transfer? Right. What your father said? You gotta you be careful. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> think we out, think we out, keep your mouth shut. You got a big mouth. <laughs> Fact. And look, that Lafayette, some people from Coney Island go there, but the majority of people from Coney Island go to Lincoln. Fact. So it's not like you had a whole squad with you. Nah, people, nah that grazing. shit was broken up because they went to Dewey. Yeah, facts. I'm from Grayson, so that was Grayson Zone School. So everybody oh. from my hood went there, C Rise. Yeah, it I went to Lafayette. I just, my first year, I just didn't even go. Look at that. I just was like, Good job. Like, Clap it up for that. Clap it up. Clap it up for that. Clap it up. Good job. You Wait were... for him not going? Yeah, yeah for dropping out. He that he did a good job. Figured it out. Yeah, he figured yeah. out the cheat code. You don't need to learn that. Facts. Yo, I tell my School man. Yeah, what? facts. Nah, it nah, it don't now. work out. They're teaching you bullshit, homie. They, not, they ain't teaching you teachers, how to get rich. Yo, teachers They teach you how to be a fucking worker. Teachers go to school, high school, college. They do seven years of college to be a teacher. The benefit of that is you get fucking summers off. And you get all the good holidays. And no drug tests. Talk. They don't get drug tested. Really? Bro. I swear, Teachers bro. don't get drug tested? Nah, we That's gotta, crazy. They can what smoke do you mean? crack. Hold up. What do you mean teachers don't get drug tested? Teachers tested? don't get pat, bro. Like, you see if I get that, like, if you do you something right? with you a nervous, kid. You nervous, bro? What are you fucking chewing your nails for? I ain't chewing my nails, man. You and fucking like, nervous? Like, you hit a kid or something, they Fuck, don't I drug test I need to be nervous you. for. 
That's crazy. If you touch a kid, whatever, anything that happens, they do not drug test you. They put you in like a rubber room. And really? you can continue to smoke crack in there. That's insane. Man, I, I don't even know what I was saying before. Well, right now. <laughs> teachers got the summers off. Oh, and I said they school don't for get... seven fucking years. I dropped out and I make way more than teachers. Yeah, they don't get paid a lot, which yeah, is that's... crazy. My wife's a teacher. She gets paid good, though. You get a DED? Yeah, I fucking, bro, I took that shit high as fuck. Probably nodding out, passed that shit, missed the second day. I didn't even go to the second day. You so, had enough to pass? So they, no, they sent me, you know, you can't pass. You, you gotta pass go back and do it every again. subject. You have to get a certain amount of it. The, the next time the test came around, I went to the second day, high as fuck, passed that shit, no problem. So that's an adult, but like you were high school age? I, I wasn't high school age, I was probably in my 20s, but, bro, when I applied myself, school was always mad easy for me. But once I got to high school, I started smoking weed, popping fucking I sucked, the, I sucked the math. That's the only class math I Math and failed. science I didn't like, but I still passed them. I failed in math. But when once I got to high school, I didn't go. got higher when the math got like algebra. algebra. No, he said algulus. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nah, you so, said algulus. He want to try to, he want to try to, yo. He want to try to get on me because I said, said, when I started high school, I ain't drop out. He want to get yeah. on me. He said, I dropped out too just now. Yo, but he said that's, Algulus. Come on, <laughs> Algulus, man. Algulus, that shit cooked me. Who's that, the rapper dude, Algulus? Yeah, Algulus, Algulus. Yeah, he said like a beat producer. Algulus. 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 Yo, my first year of high school, I went to high We just had moved from fucking Coney Island to Staten Island. I had Big Trav in the back of my head. I moved to the <laughs> suburbs. Everybody's fucking Abercrombie'd out. I got an Averex, Tim's, yeah. Big Trav on the back of my head. I stood out like a sore thumb. Facts. Fucking set a fire in the school, first year of high school, had to go to the Poconos to stay with my grandparents. I started, that's where I started writing raps though. But I went there for the first year, I was fucking on a roll because I didn't have no friends. I just went to school, did my homework. Then they let me back in New York Public High Schools. As Soon as I got back, I punched the teacher in the face. It was over. It's what was rap. her name? What was her name? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I was a guy. I was trying to go into a doorway. They was like, you can't come in. I was like, bro, shut up. And he was with his class, though. They was going on like a field trip. He was like, shut up. I said, I'm going in here. He tried to like stand in front of me. I rocked the shit. Bang. And it was like, get You're the here. fuck out of here. Yeah. You out of here. Yeah, that's and then I went to GD school. That's terrible. And fucking, that shit was bullshit. I went to aviation high school. It was building like airplane parts and fucking really? jet engines. Yeah. You yeah. know who went to school with me? Who? Tax Tone was in my class, <laughs> and Fat Fingers was in the same school too. Really? Yeah. DJ Fat Fingers. You want to yeah. tell about DJ Fat Fingers? <laughs> <laughs> greatest story ever. We have a show. And shout out to Fat Fingers. he been playing my shit before a lot of DJs. Shout out to Fat, Fat Fingers. Fat Fingers is a super the official claw. DJ. And he's ill DJ. But six, when I had a show at Knitting Factory right before they closed, six, he was Six's DJ. He's in the back. <laughs> Fat Fingers is a chubby guy. I forgot guy. about this. I Fat forgot Fingers about Fat Fingers is a chubby guy like me. We, I go backstage, and I notice he's on a love seat couch. That's two seats. On his belly, though. <laughs> like, you know, like, what? you might lay on the couch like this. No, he's face forward on the couch. Why, his back was Facts. Hurt? I don't know. <laughs> no, we don't know. And we he's don't having know what conversations happens. with us like it's normal. <laughs> Everybody, I'm walking like, bro. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Yo, but his legs were behind him like this. They were like kicking behind yeah, his head. Yeah, like when you're on the phone like talking folded. to a girl, kicking your legs up. <laughs> laying Yo. in the grass, he was laying in the grass. Yo, this shit was hilarious. Drinking white claws, he was just popping white claws. His feet were like this behind him. <laughs> he's like, he's like, yeah, it's a great show, guys. Yo, now I know we said we were going to tell this story. We don't have to use names. But you have a certain family member who wants to die. <laughs> Okay, pause? Tell it, pause. Yeah, yeah. You want to tell who it is? Yeah, okay. All right, pause his brother, FIFO. Yeah, my brother, FIFO. Hilarious. Shout out my brother, FIFO. Yo, shout out to FIFO. He's hilarious. Smack the shit out of his baby moms in front of her family. Fact, so he goes to Boston. Made a piss on herself. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, he goes to Boston to a barbecue. And she fucking with him. So he, shit. so backstory, <laughs> he's, his baby moms is from Boston. Yeah, right? like the uh, mean streets of Boston. So he lived in Boston with her, right? No. Okay. Nah, he went with her to Boston to a family. She was having like a family barbecue. We don't condone condes, com, domestic violence whatsoever. Like if I see a dude hit his girl, 
I try to stay out of it, but I'll stop. I won't let nobody hit a girl in front of me. We don't yeah, stand facts. for that. If yeah, I facts. ever was on the train and saw so somebody forget the story. Forget off, the story. Forget the story. Forget the story. Nah, it's funny. Go. Go. Give it a shot. Tell Shoot, boss. So she's poking him, you know what I'm saying? So he, he said, yo, stop playing with me, man. She's like, dad, hit me. Hit me. Dad, I dare you. In front of all the people. All her family. Facts. And he big. He's my size. Yeah, like that. And white. And she black. <laughs> and he in Boston at her family cookout. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, ooh, you feel me? <laughs> and she like, go ahead, hit me, hit me. Like, yo, stop playing with me. She like, go ahead, go ahead, nigga, hit me, hit me. The way he say it is better. And he just said, bah! <laughs> and, and looked at everybody in the barbecue and said, come on, who wants to die? No. <laughs> oh, dad. And she so, pissed on herself when she, she got knocked out. Nah, she ain't knocked her out. She just peed. <laughs> <laughs> He ain't knocked out. So nobody killed him? Nah, he said everybody just kept eating. Oh, shit. <laughs> they were tired of that shit, too. Oh, nah. They was like, oh, she yeah, found the right add, one. Yeah, you can edit that. <laughs> nah, that's crazy. That. It is funny, though. Yo, his brother is also the one that was with him when he passed out in Giant Stadium. Oh, he said that. Um, that's another joke. He said, then that's fucked up. They had you on the jumbo truck. So, no, if you nice. go rewatch Pat Pass <laughs> ate edibles at a giant game that I also was at, but didn't know he was there. Yeah. He ate he mad edibles, passed out in Giant Stadium after his heart attack, and they had to take him, wheel him out of Giant Stadium to nah, the hospital. First, first, they took me on the, um, a thing like this, like a wheelchair, like that. They lifted it up. They didn't yeah, have, they have no wheels. Yeah, they had me down, down, down. <laughs> nah. <laughs> I was in a chair like that. <laughs> Dead but, weight. But he was <laughs> passed out in the stadium. Yeah, so my brother said, damn, son, you shitted on your, yourself, and they wiped your ass on the jumbo truck. <laughs> you was in the hospital. And he didn't I know said, if he believed him or not. Nah, I, believe, I said, you lying. Yo, we was crying laughing. And the, the ambulance, everybody was like, come on, guys. What are you guys on? <laughs> what are you on? And he told them that I seen it. He was like, yo, Nims came and everything. I was like, nah. He was like, word. He did like this, though. That's what happened to Kai. He said, they said, I don't got C, bro. <laughs> Could you, you imagine that? No. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Facts. That was a good imagine game. He said that was a good game. You <laughs> and they wiped your ass on a jumbo don't truck. Don't leave me hanging the <laughs> You know they do the kiss and shit on a jumbo yeah, truck. Yeah, yeah. And his ass wiped ass your ass on a jumbo truck. <laughs> shit cam, shit cam. He in his ass and he knocked oh, out. Oh, man, I feel bad. I'll buy them people seats around me. I'll do a crazy Yo, moment. you going down the stairs. Straight <laughs> like this. Yeah, like that. I put my hood on so nobody knew like I was a star. <laughs> she was going like that, dude. Like I was some type of celebrity. <laughs> now was, speaking oh, man, shit. Damn. Look, I know we I know we spoke about um domestic violence. <laughs> yeah, we don't condone that. We don't condone that. We don't that condone shit. that. Yeah, and yeah, another right. thing we don't condone, and I wanted to say this on the podcast, we don't condone any funny style shit, like I believe in the death penalty for child molesters. Facts. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Um, being with, or just seeing children, and um, I don't have any kids, but I have kids that are in my life that I love dearly. Um, and just seeing like the innocence of a fucking child is just like the purest shit the, in, that's the bro, shit, bro. in the yeah. world. That's the flyest shit, bro. the world. If a kid tell you your breath stinks, my man, your breath stinks, bro. That's <laughs> yeah. a fact. Yeah, yeah, they're pure. Because my niece, I was driving one time, I remember, and she was in the middle of the car, and she said, somebody's ears are dirty. Because <laughs> she probably saw my ear probably had like, <laughs> you shit. had popcorn in it. I was like, sit down, man. <laughs> this shit had popcorn in it. <laughs> I take you back to your mom's. <laughs> nah, they like that. Yo, they like that. Yo, you, like that. Yo, you do an elbow? Man. Yeah, sit down, man. <laughs> <laughs> Theo, you're getting Theo tight. Yo, they yo but they ask. nah, there wasn't there wasn't no story. I just wanted to bring that up. Like, yo, what? we don't we don't fuck with none of no funny style. And shit rats, like. I don't fuck with rats either, man. Facts. I'm keeping it a band. Yo, you know what? I, we also had a conversation off camera. Um. So my man. Uh, I say his name, Tanner. Happy birthday to my man, Tanner. Yeah, happy Tanner birthday, Tanner. That's my Tanner. man. Facts. Facts. That's Clap my it up guy. for that. Clap it up for my man. You're going to see this late, but happy birthday to my guy, Tanner. Yeah, He's on the they, block right to, now. Yeah, facts. So his girl, or his ex-girl, walks by the block. Um, and we had a conversation. I was like, yo, before 
I knew that was Tanner's girl. I would always, you know, say shit. Yo, what's up, ma? Da da da. One, but then I found out it's Tanner's girl. Even as an ex girl, once you're my man's girlfriend, even if y'all break up, it's you off limits. Facts. You clear. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The court that I'm from, we don't do no funny style shit. We don't do no sneaky shit. And any anybody that does do shit like that. You ain't rolling with us. You facts, know what I'm saying? Facts. facts. And there's a lot of you motherfuckers out there doing sucker shit like that. Oh, big time. I see dudes go after their man's girl. But Ex- even, yeah. but even the cloth I'm from is, bro, my man's girl passed. I don't even want to have full conversations with my man's girl. I don't want anything to be misconstrued. When they walk by, if I'm in their house, she walking by, I don't, I make sure, as a man, you always go like that to a woman's ass. It's just, being it's part natural, of a man, I guess. it's just a mm. natural reaction. Facts. So you have to mentally prepare mentally yourself. Like I'm not gonna do that. Do, <laughs> so my man's wife, I purposely never. I don't look. They passes my man's girl got an ass job. I never looked at it. I don't know how it looks. I don't know if they. Fu- <laughs> he goes like this. Like he goes. You lying. You looked at it. You lying. Don't do that. You looked at it. Yo. I caught a glass in Yeah, yeah there we go. There yo, go. he be like this. He too. Yo. You can't yo, handle yo, him. Yo, no, yo, he go like this. Look. Yo, Paz, yeah. he'll go like this. Yeah, he's talking about he ain't love. You saw him? Uh, I go like this. So she, and he side eyed this shit. He got his shades on. He'll side eyed that shit. That's that big ass over there bouncing, damn it. Real shit. All jokes aside. Nah, there was no lust. There was no lust. There's no. If I did see it, it's in passing, like, oh, who's that? Oh, that's son's girl. Ah, oh, my bad. He but said if it. I did see it. But. <laughs> nigga said he'd be like this. Like, come on. I, that's but all jokes doing? aside, yeah, like, I'm, there's no funny style agendas in that. Yeah, We facts. don't roll like that. I you know. know what I'm saying? Yeah, I ain't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I ain't. <laughs> nah, I'm not. Oh, nah, nah I ain't you, with you that know how we get down. You don't get down like that either. Yo, nice. even we go to the what you call it shit, we he be having shit booked at the spots and we be going. And he be like, yo, I be like, Bob, I don't come here for that shit, homie. Facts. Well, right? When we go to the thing, be like, yo, what happened yeah, yeah, with we Shorty? Want, I be like, homie, I don't want, I don't want Now, one thing about Hubert, Hubert's yeah. at, a, at a stage in life where he's a man, he's not, he likes women. He right? loves women. He loves women, but he also hates, <laughs> hates women. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So he's at a point in life where he's at a fine balance. the bitches that be acting like men. So he loves Can't women, he loves him, to look man. at women, he loves to be around women, but he also hates women and loves him. Yeah, yeah, it's yo, I'm, I'm good. He's he's like, he like being he was said, married. I knew Hubert before he was married. I knew him while he was married, and I know him now. And right now, it's like his quan, his energy, his space. Is that yeah, the best. I'm at peace. Is that the best he's ever, that I've known him, you know what I'm saying? I'm at peace. His quan, his space, his, his energy is good. Yeah, great. yo. Cause yo, a lot of times like they that? be like on some crazy shit. Homie. I said his quan, his energy is thing. Oh, we heard you a million times. Cause he keep fucking with me. He can't. He's not on camera, bro. Relax. You like a fucking <laughs> little girl, like a little kid. He keeps fucking with me. Um, fuck He's you. triggered. Fuck him yeah, too. Yeah, bro. Let's get into the motherfucking drip. Brought to you by Monster Energy. You heard? Mo- Shout out Monster Energy, man. Monster Energy been riding with us for a long time, bro. We fuck with. Shout them. out to the radio. What? The radio, the monster, monster radio. Monster. Seems like they don't want no smoke or no beef about this drip here. They don't want nothing about this drip. This drip is mine. So y'all stop believing in these rappers and that little songs and ad libs and shit you let it do. Cause man, it's only one drip going. Oh, this shit drip. That shit won't stop. What you wearing? Let me get one of them shits right there. Oh, what I'm wearing? Live action. I got the live action Astro Land set from the FYL store. You know that? The full set. You know what I'm saying? Oh, no, they're going to get it. Yeah, they're going to get it. They see it. You know what I mean? I got my little um, skimmer right here. Keep the sun out the eyes and all of that. (laughs) That's what that's called. What about the glasses? What about the glasses? What, my glasses? Damn, why you want to get on my... I'm asking you, had them. Oh, up. these right here? Yeah. I caught these real quick for $5. These are some dickies. <laughs> Yo, listen. <laughs> we went on, we was out somewhere, maybe San Antonio, LA, wherever we was. LA, Uber, LA. LA. I grabbed Hubert, slam him, 
paws on the bed. You know what I'm saying? Why would you do Yo, that? Yo, word or some. We I'm play like, fighting. Boom, he goes, oh, you broke my glasses. You owe me a dub. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I thought he was going to say, yo, you owe me 300 for it. Nah, oh, my yeah. shit's cost a dub, man. <laughs> 20. <laughs> my shit's cost a dub. All of that, you buy, yeah, do that 300. That's scared to put them 300 in them other, man. My shit cost a dub. <laughs> with the you love. You broke my glasses. The you owe me a dub. Yo, me wow. Dub. And what's up with the sneakers? Oh, the sneakers, these are the um, joints I did the commercial for, the Bodega New Balance 610s trailers. You know what I'm saying? On the top right here with my New Balance socks. Fire. And right. you know, that's how we moving today, man. Facts. Uh -huh. What about you, Paz? I got the, uh, the Amelin Dois, I said it right? <laughs> Hell no. I don't know. How's ALD? Me? You said the Amelin Dois? ALD. I think it's... That shit was from Italy, that Amelin Dois. ALD. I got the Essentials track pants, FYL socks, yes. and I got the um, Shaq Reebok pumps. Yeah. What? What you yeah. got on your head? Pause. And I got the uh, Villainous Crime hat. Facts. Shout out Villainous. Good looking for the merch. What? Villainous and, um, yo, is all like, We got to holla at Shaq. These shits don't pump, my nigga. What? Nah. Got him. Back in the day, got they him. pumped. Facts. Facts. So I what bought them just six? for the nostalgia, boy. Yeah. FYL. FYL. UTL basketball shorts, a basketball league that I curate. FYO to the socks and Gatorade ones. What? Gatorade. There's a lot of FYO. There's a lot of FYO. Facts. A lot of FYL, bitch. Facts. Next we, time I'ma come through though, I'ma have my other shit. What? Huh? What other shit? CIL. The CIL. Huh? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we, Me, I got we, the FYL on top, limited edition. It's at the FYL store, O'Dwyer Gardens projects on the side. We got the O'Dwyer Gardens projects. 1982 to 2022, 40 years. O'Dwyer Gardens Projects, Coney Island, Brooklyn, FYL shirt. We got the Kiff sweatpants, Kiff and Kin. You know what I'm saying? Then we got the FYL socks, and we got the Jordan 4 Thunders classic. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my man Ray. He got the FYL Zoomies tee. FYL is in Zoomies nationwide. The light is done. I hope you've seen the good episode. We'll be back. This is the only podcast that we don't need no motherfucking guests because we individually are the guests, dickheads. You know what I'm saying? Fuck your life. We out of here. Bang, bing, boom, bang. Golf clap, golf clap. Shouts to Busy. He got a little D on his head. <laughs> hey, yo. Hey, hey, yo. yo. <laughs> don't ever disrespect me. Ever, 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 ever disrespect. Ever, ever, ever disrespect. Ever, ever, ever disrespect. Pussy, don't ever disrespect me, you are.